Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilches of Doodle Notes and right now I'm just gonna share to you a quick blender how to align your bone joints to your mesh joints easily so that you don't have to guess where to, where to align your you know joints. I think this is impor an important tip for someone who's starting to rig. So I'm sharing it, even if you don't want it or not. But yeah, this tutorial assumes that you already have a model and right now you're rigging it. So yeah, the first thing you need to do is to determine which part of the mesh are the joints. And usually the joints are found on the legs, the arms, the torso, and you know, the head and the neck. Those are the joints. And those are probably the parts that you'd be able to apply this method, which I'll be calling shift S method. And to do the shift S method, the first thing you gotta do is to select the mesh, tab into edit mode. If everything is selected, make sure to unselect everything by pressing A. And then just start with whichever joint you want to start with. In this case, we are going to be select. We're going to start with the, with the knees. We want to align this knee joint on the bones to the knee joint on the mesh. And to do that, you need to select this. Select the loop around the knee right here by pressing Shift Alt right click. Shift Alt right click right there and there it's selected and then next pre press Shift S to bring out this this menu here and then press cursor to select it and you'll see that the cursor is now right there right on the middle of that knee mesh right there and to put that and to align this knee joint to the knee mesh you got it the next thing you got to do is uh, tab out of edit mode from the mesh and then go select the bone tab into edit mode in that bone select this knee joint right here i think this best works on an or on an octahedral uh, display of the bones or the stick but it's easier to select the joints with on octahedral so you gotta make sure that's uh that looks like that but yeah select the knee joint shift s to bring out this menu again and this time what you need to do is select the selection to cursor and right there it snapped right in the middle of that knee joint so yeah that's the easiest way to like snap your or to, to align the knee the knee joint of the bone into the knees of the mesh and you can actually do this in every joints on the on the body of the mesh like the, the elbow part right here shift s cursor to select it uh wait uh this is what i'm telling yeah that's why you gotta make sure that the ones that are selected are the only loop the loop is us the cursor would be on the middle of those selections. So yeah, again, select that loop on the elbow, shift S, cursor to selected, tab into edit, tab out, select the bone, tab in to edit mode, select the joint, shift S, selection to cursor. And the elbow joint is now aligned with the elbow. Uh, elbow joint from the bone is now aligned with the elbow on the mesh joint. And you can do that with the rest, the shoulders, Right here, shift S, cursor to selected, tab, you can actually select both of these guys, selection the cursor, and there they're aligned. And also on the torso right here, right on the hip, uh, cursor to selected, tab, select the bone, yeah. so difficult to select the bone here, uh, uh, there you go, tab, shift S, Selection the cursor are in there. We go. All the joints are now aligned um, on the parts where you really want to align them. That, that's actually an, that's actually this is actually easier rather than guessing around where you have to put the you know the joints. Oh, but yeah, you can also if if also if you know if you don't have if it's not really aligned that well, you can always you can always you know edit it afterwards. But right now. You can you you know that this joint is now in the middle of the mesh inside, and it won't be like crooked or something, or it won't be like a little bit of a little bit outside of the of the in the middle there. But yeah, that is it. That is the shift S method. Really useful trick if you're rigging, make things easier. And yeah, others are probably doing it already. I'm not gonna say that uh, this is my method. This is you know mine. But yeah. That's just a little something I want to share to you guys to, you know, to help you on your rigging. But yeah, that is all. That's the shift S method. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you've got something from this. Um, if you want to watch the 9 Tutlap series, just click on an annotation right there. 
bottom video. And also, I'm going to be creating an animation with this 9 model. Just click that annotation right there, the upper video. And yeah, subscribe. Consider subscribing if you want to see more Blender how-tos or you want to see some, you know, BTS stuff on the films or animations that I do. You know, click or subscribe this to this channel or subscribe to my main channel to see films and animation where I use all the models that I model here on an animation on a main channel. Uh, just the link will be in the description below. Check it out. You're probably going to be loving some of them because I've already created some really awesome stuff, I think. But yeah, um, just, you know, explore Doodle Notes, explore the sites, explore my Facebook. My fa That's where I'm going to be up uh, updating more often. My Facebook, uh, Twitter, maybe not that much on Twitter, but I'm going to try to also, you know, update there uh, on a weekly basis. Also, um, every time I have a new video, uh, you can see it on Twitter. Uh, also on Google+, Plus, if I have a new entry on my blog, which, you know, you can also visit on the site right there, doodlenotesblog.blogspot.com. Just, you know, visit that, that site if you want to know more about Doodle Notes. And yeah, if you have some questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as best as I can. So yeah, that is all. My name is MJ Vilchaz of Doodle Notes, bringing forth awesomeness to glorify the awesome over and out.